and welcome. Hey everybody, I am Rookdom Designs. You may know me as the incredible brass knuckles right there. <laughs> and this is the last panel for Ponies Online. So I hope that you've all had a fantastic last 24 hours. This is gonna take you to the end. And let me tell you, if you haven't slept, you may be sleeping. This is Raise the Sun Yoga, which is going to be a mixed level class. As you can see, I'm sitting on a chair right now. So if you are comfortable doing chair yoga, you are welcome to stay seated. If you have a mat, you can use a mat. If you've just got a carpet or something soft to work on, that's great too. And the idea here is that we're gonna be doing some stretching, then we're gonna go through what's actually called a sun salutations in yoga and use those kind of like a Celestia theme in order to go through some of the stretching and relaxation of yoga. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, I've got a playlist there and I'll post it in chat again right now. Hi, you guys, welcome. Here's the playlist if you want to, or you can play anything else you want, or you can just listen to my voice. Again, this, uh, as you saw some of you people that came in earlier, I hosted Bob Ross before this. This is like what I call Bob Ross yoga. Anything goes. Um, you make it your practice. Yoga is all about listening to your own body and doing what's right for you. And there's no wrong way to do it. The best part about doing this on Twitch is that I can't see you and no one else can see you unless you're streaming too. So do what works for you. Don't be worried about being embarrassed. Don't try to compare yourself. Don't try to do what I can do because I'm not you. You are not me and that's a good thing. <laughs> so it looks like everybody's all set up here. And we're going to get started first. Um, we've got 60 minutes together and then closing ceremonies afterwards. So I'm really looking forward to spending this time with you here. And what we're going to do first is some breathing exercises. So just find a comfortable seat, whether you're on the floor or in a chair. Look at your posture first. Maybe straighten up a little bit, roll those shoulders back. You may have been hunched over the computer or maybe you're just waking up. Feel how your body's feeling today. Notice your breath. Are you breathing shallow or deep? You don't have to change it, but just notice your breathing. Is the air hot on your breath? Is it cool? Is it morning you can smell the fresh rain or the flowers or maybe you smell the food from last night? Just notice what's around you. Yoga is about mindfulness as well, so staying in the present, staying on your mat when you're practicing and when you're not practicing, remembering that you have to enjoy what you have right now. Start to deepen your breaths. And if you can, draw air into the diaphragm. It's going to make your belly bigger, and then as you exhale, it pushes it back in. Maybe focus on trying to breathe from your belly here. If you have a certain type of breathing that's in your practice, you're welcome to do that here. I will invite even breaths, which is breathing in for a count of four. So inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. And continue on at your own pace. If it's faster, you can breathe faster, but don't hyperventilate. If it's slower, maybe lengthen those breaths. Your eyes can be closed, you can have a gentle gaze. Again, just focusing on how it feels to have your ribs expanding as you inhale, and how everything folds in as you exhale. A few more breaths here. And again, Now's the time to get settled in. If you're just coming in, we have a playlist listed up here. You can play that or anything you like. You can have a mat or a chair, whatever works for you. And then get settled and just focus on your breathing for a few more seconds. And now let your breath come back to normal. Do a couple shoulder rolls here. Rolling them in, up and back. Maybe going forward a couple times. We're going to do some neck rolls too, so don't feel like you have to go crazy, but just if a little more settling sounds good to you. Then come back to stillness and breathe however feels good for you. 
I'm going to open our practice with a couple of quotes about Raise the Sun. So actually from a Reddit post, CasketBase77 posted a really neat thing about what Celestia was trying to do with raising the sun, right? The sun's glory is not due to its permanence. The sun leaves us every day, but it comes back eventually. It always comes back. That's the stuff of legend, hoping that the sun is raised every day. That's part of the, the fun of how My Little Pony makes raising the sun a chore, but also an honor. And that's what we're going to focus on today. In the long millennia that Celestia spent as caretaker of the sky, the duty developed her own sense of how things work in the world. Even the bravest pony could fail or falter in their vigil, leaving themselves or their friends in the dark. But no darkness is infinite, and no abyss is too deep to escape. Any creature can hope to rise up again just like the sun. So for the next hour, we're going to let go of that darkness. Let go of your worry and your stresses. It'll all be there when you come back. But for now, focus on where you are. Focus on where you are right now, being in the light. Draw on the positivity of being here for the next hour, as well as the energy of the sun. If you have another intention that you would like to set, we can do that now. In the way of yoga, you inhale and raise your hands up. Exhale, let them down. Inhale, draw them up again. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center in what's called a mudra. It's very similar to the prayer pose for a reason. There's other hand seals. If you've been in other of my online yoga before, it's like the Naruto chakra hand signs, right? So you can do all kinds of things with your hands, but we're going to go to prayer for now. Focus on your intention. If you have nothing in mind, I welcome you to focus on drawing in the light and being in the moment. You can keep your eyes closed or have a gentle gaze. We're going to take a big inhale. And a deep exhale, make it loud. One more time, inhale and exhale. Keep that with you through your practice. If at any time something feels uncomfortable or you don't want to continue, you can return right back to your seat in your breath. And this will take you through the rest of your practice. This is all you need. But if you want more, I welcome you to join me now as we continue to do our yoga. So to start off with, I'm going to demonstrate chair and mat. So if you are sitting, we're going to first do our spine stretches, which is our shoulder rolls. If you're seated, same thing. You can be cross-legged or on your knees, whatever is comfortable for you. If the floor is tough, sit on a blanket. doesn't matter. So the first thing we're going to do is, again, some shoulder rolls. So if you haven't done a couple, do those now. I like to do all fours if you've been with me before. So rolling down, forward up and back and really articulate that movement. Feel the shoulder blades in your back as they're moving. I'll demonstrate with my dragon here. Really feel it moving. And then you have to go the other direction. So back, up, forward, and down. Do a couple more here. And as it feels good to you, come back to stillness. And now we're going to do those neck rolls. So don't do anything that causes any pain. Again, this is your practice. You do it how you want. I like to start by just gently turning my head, getting my ear towards one shoulder, and just breathing into this side. You have options here to kind of reach out the opposite arm, so where the neck is sloping down. I'll go over here like that. And then you can use the same hand to rest gently on your head and just stretch it a little bit. Don't press, but just feel the stretch with that extra weight of your hand. Breathing here. Breathing is the secret to yoga. Focusing on the breath, drawing in the energy here. And then release. Opposite side. Again, doing what works for you. Maybe your hand feels good here or back or down. Maybe your head can't go as far this way, but that's all right. It's what works for you. Breathing into the side. 
and then lower, come back to center. Let's do 45 degree angle. So out at an angle, just tilt your head here. Lean with the nose, do circles and see if there's any catching in the neck here. So pointing with your nose. And if you find someone that catches and you want to stay there, do that. And then roll your head down to the middle. Keep your neck and your back straight here and just feel the stretch in the top of your head. And if this doesn't feel good, don't do it. Because you don't want to hunch over. And then roll it to 45 degrees the other way. Again, leaning with the nose. Seeing if there's a, ooh, there's a sticking point right there for me. <laughs> so I'm going to stay right here. Breathing into it. And then rock your head down and back. Maybe here you welcome gentle circles if you can go all the way around. If it does not feel good, do not do it. Gently, gently. And then back the other way. Creaking and cracking is welcome. Just no pain. And now we're going to do some spine stretches. So we're going to inhale to raise our hands up. Exhale to rotate to one side. If you're in the chair, you can use the back of the chair to help with the stretch. If you're seated, just find what works for you. Set your hands where it works. On these twists, you can actually inhale to let it go a little bit and lengthen up. And then exhale. Maybe stretch just a little deeper. In yoga, you never want to go to 100% or more, <laughs> unlike in anime. Inhale to center. Exhale. Let's go the other way. You don't want to go to 100%. You want to be at about 80% because your body, while it can go full power, is not meant to sustain that. So backing off just a little is actually better for you. Again, some yoga you might see as competitive. It should not be. Do not. I recommend you do not do those things. Inhale back to center. And exhale. Lower the hands. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, do a forward fold here. If you're seated, you can adjust your legs if you need to. But just folding over, rounding the back here. Drop the neck and let it hang heavy. Again, find what works for you. Breathe into the back. Feel the spine in your back as it grows with each inhale. And then roll yourself slowly up if that works for you. Or if you have spine issues, keep your spine straight as you come back up. We're going to go back to cat cow here. I'm going to go to the floor, but for those of you that are seated, cat cow means literally you exhale and arch your back like a cat and your hands can go here, wherever works for you. Inhaling, stretching and shining the chest open and looking up as much as is comfortable. So cat exhale, cow is inhale. And again, you articulate to what works for you. Move your body what works for you. <clears throat> so if you're on the mat with me, you're just going to do the same thing. So you're on all fours. Feet are down. Keep the weight on the backs of the feet. Exhale, pushing the chest up. Inhale, reaching forward. Don't do too much in the lower back. I realize that was something I'm really flexible with. But the lower back is very flexible. You want to focus on actually between the shoulder blades here. And if you want, you can welcome movement, whether it's rotating and looking side to side, or maybe you just keep doing cat cows, focusing on your breathing here. If you're on the floor, maybe you welcome some hip circles. This one is going to get pretty active, so make sure your hips are warmed up. <clears throat> do a couple more here. And then I'm going to welcome those of you on the floor to widen your knees a little bit, sit back on your feet, and then fold over. This is child's pose. Head can come down, or if you have a block or a book or something like that, which I have a demo, you just rest your head down. It can be on your hands. It can be all the way down. It's whatever works for you. So find what's comfortable in your child's pose here. If you're in your chair. <clears throat> when you come to a resting spot, you want to come into easy seat, again, comfortable. You don't want to be slouching back, but find something that's comfortable for you. Or if you like, you can go back to that forward fold. 
fun thing with the chair is if you're in a forward fold, you can grab the legs and give yourself a deeper stretch. Take more breaths in this resting pose. Get comfortable with it. You're going to come back to it a lot. All right, good to see you. You guys are doing great. Okay, now we're going to come back to your table or your comfortable seat. And for here, we're going to do a couple of balance poses. So to inhale, you raise up one leg and you flatten the foot behind you. So you're lifting up here. You should be looking straight down. Don't hurt the neck. This is part of what they call bird dog. If you want, you can take that opposite hand and reach it up. But if this is tough on your wrist, just use your leg. For a little additional, you can pump it up and down. If you're seated, I recommend you either try doing single leg lifts or just focus on your breathing here. And then exhale, lower it down. If this is tough on your hands, you can also roll your hands into fists and stay on your fists. I had to do that for quite a while because my wrists were a little bit weaker. Inhale, raise that other leg up. Focus on your not having a tilt in your hips too. I see I got quite the shiny legs very <laughs> similar to Celestia here. And maybe you raise up that other hand, focusing on staying stable here and then let it down. Maybe you come back again, shake those hands out. Good job. For the next one, I'll demonstrate seated first. So we're gonna do some more twists. Uh, the way that I would recommend you do it is you just kind of do a single hug and then hold your arm down. Do those in both directions. For those of you that are on all fours, come back up here. We're going to do what's called thread the needle. So you inhale and raise one hand. Now we're doing a one hand balance. Exhale and you're going to sweep it under and grab your ribs. Inhale, raise it up again. Do that a couple times. If you're seated, you can invite some motion in here too. And then the next time you go under, see if you can land on your shoulder. Straightening the arm, keeping the legs up. And get a little bit of a stretch here. So this is a twist. You should feel it in your spine. Again, if it's too tight, just go back to your child's pose. Breathing here. Thread in the needle. One more breath. Inhale. Draw yourself back up. Shake it out. Maybe reach up one more time. Whew. Good job. Let's try the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, reach towards your ribs underneath. Inhale, raise it up. Exhale, grabbing your ribs. And one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, going through, this time threading on the other side. So you're landing on that shoulder, stretching the arm out straight, keeping the hips up. If you want, you can do like me and put your hand behind your back for more of a bind, a twist. Or keep your hand out in front of you, whatever works. This is your practice. Breathe here. <sighs> Feels good, doesn't it? Inhale, come back up. Plant those hands. Maybe raise that hand up one more time. Put it down. Good job. All right. Now let's go back to child's pose. <sighs> From child's pose, we're going to start to do our salutations. This is going to get a little more tricky if you are seated, but that means that you get to have more fun trying to figure out how to move. So to start here, <laughs> a lot of fuss, yeah. It's been great. I saw the mango mascot too, gotta say, I love mangoes. So we're going to go into our sun salutations now, which means that we're going to introduce more things. If you're on your mat from all fours, you tuck your toes underneath. And you push up into that down dog. I'm sure you've seen these before. So your feet are down, your hands are down, you're lowering your head between your arms, looking towards the back of your legs. Back should try and be straight. Heels do not have to touch. In fact, your knees can be bent. You can be like this. 
It's whatever works for you. Your arm should be pretty straight. Keep the weight on all of the points of your hand and on the toes. Breathe here. And when you're comfortable with that, you can lower back into child's pose. Maybe practice going up and down for chair. To do the sun salutations, let's do a little bit of work together here. So you're going to be doing folds, inhaling, more folds, shining up. And then you're going to be doing some like push up y kind of things. So what I would recommend is if you have a wall nearby, you turn to that wall so that way you can do wall push ups. You'll be able to shine up. And for down dog, again, you can do those forward folds. Or maybe you can try like drawing your knees in, doing some tucking and moving of the hips if that works for you. So have fun with it. <laughs> I know you can do it. Salutations in chair is definitely more of an experiment, and you get to find out more about yourself. I'm going to have a quick cup of water. Remember, hydrate. All right. If you're in child's pose, Back to down dog. Let's do this thing. Ooh. Uh, breathing here. Bend those knees. Look towards the middle of your hands and walk yourself forward. This is taking you into your forward fold, your first standing fold. Keep your knees a little bit bent. Feet should be shoulder distance apart. Grab your elbows and just hang here. This is what they call ragdoll. Let your head go. Nod yes, nod no. Wiggle that head. Let it go, it's heavy. <laughs> and your neck's probably tight, so let it go. Breathing here. If you are in red, they'll drop your hands to either a block, your shins, and you're gonna push yourself halfway up so that you have a flat back. This is the half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, you're gonna lift up. Push with your feet as you roll up. Again, if you have back problems, lift up straight. And now you're going to be standing in mountain pose. This is, again, another home base here. <laughs> Breathing here. Hands should be out, palms facing forward. Feet hip distance apart, shoulders roll back. Head lift up. This is an active yoga pose. See how the sun is shining down? I did that on purpose, guys. It's great. Mountain pose, okay? So now we're going to fold on the exhale. Plant those hands down. Step your right foot back, and this is taking you into a lunge. If it works for you, you can go into a high lunge. You can lower your knee, do a low lunge. You can keep your hands down, raise them up. The idea is to lift your chest a little bit, and then plant your hands, step back. Now you're in plank, so if you like doing push-ups, you can do those here. If you don't, you don't have to. You can plant your knees, your chest, and then your chin. Then inhale, lift up with your shoulders. Don't lift up with your lower back, lift up with your shoulders. Baby Cobra. And then push back. Maybe coming through table, you can go back to child's pose or down dog. Every time I say down dog, you can do child's pose. <laughs> so you're finding your way back to your dog, whether that's on the ground or up here. All right, now we're gonna inhale and raise one foot. See how that feels, maybe wiggle the ankle. Maybe wiggle the knee. And then you're going to try and step through. And if you have to walk through, that's fine too. But you're going to get your foot in between your hands here into another lunge. And then you're going to raise yourself up. This is a lot of core work here. <laughs> Exhale down. Good. Step back. And if you want to do, this is called a flow. So again, those push-ups. Chaturanga is another type of push-up here. It's where you lower partway, but you don't bend your elbows past the middle of your chest. So it's just like this. And then you look up, and then you push back. Again, if you've got your own flow, do your flow. Walk up to your hands, do another forward fold. That's all there is to it, guys. That's the cycle. So we're going to do a few of these together. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Again, you can inhale and raise your hands above your head. Exhale, back to mountain. Couple breaths here. <laughs> We're doing great. Inhale, up again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Now you're going to step the other foot. So it should be your left foot back into that lunge. 
You got this. Maybe you shine the chest forward. Maybe you reach up. Maybe you have your knee down. This is your practice. Then exhale, fold over, plant the hands, step back, do your float, whether it's your chat or right up dog, your baby cobra, or just go back to child's pose or down dog. <sighs> A couple breaths here. <sighs> Inhale, lift the left leg this time, feeling how it feels to do a three-legged dog. And once you come to stillness, step through. Again, find your way so that your foot's between your hands and your lunge. Maybe come up, maybe stay down, maybe your knee's down. I don't mind. It's what works for you. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back. Do another flow. And then walk forward. So you can make these easier. You want to do easier? Let's do easier. <laughs> Inhale, coming up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Step one foot back, step the other foot back. Just do a flow. Back to down dog. Then step forward with your right leg. Let's just do one lunge right here. Again, you can lower that leg, you can lift up, you can do a high lunge, I don't care. Then step your other foot forward. Here's your balance. Good, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to mountain. A little shorter. What do you think? Let's do it again. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back the other leg. Oop, the other one comes to meet it. Just do a flow or meet back in child's pose with Dom Dog. From here, two breaths. All right, now you can either walk forward, bring one foot forward, however you like. Through one little lunge here. Then step your other foot forward, working on your balance. Exhale, fold. Inhale one more time. Exhale, fold. Ooh, that's two cycles. How are we doing, guys? Take a breath. Go back to your mountain pose, rest up. <laughs> You don't have to be flexible. This is finding out how much your body works. From your mountain, we're going to do one more cycle. Ready? Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step one foot back. If you want, you can do a lunge here, or you can just go back to your flow. Lowering knees, chest, chin. Cobra. Right dog. Exhale, child's pose, or down dog, two breaths here. Find your dog, inhale that right foot, step it through, maybe a lunge here. Good job. Now, raise that other foot in, exhale, half fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, raising your hands up. Come to mountain. Even if you're not too flexible, by the end of this, usually your body warms up enough that you're doing a little bit more wiggling than you did before. And now, inhale, raise your hands up. Last one, guys. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stepping the left foot back. Maybe you do a lunge, or maybe you just meet your foot in the back doing your plank. Lower down, however you like your flow. Back to your child's pose or your down dog. Last dog here. Breathing. All right, inhale your left foot up, step it through. Maybe you've got a lunge on this side. Step your other foot in using that balance. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Find your mountain. That's it. Great job. Why don't you grab a drink if you need it? We're halfway there. <laughs> it probably feels like you've been doing yoga for an eternity now. <sighs> yeah, we don't need no bots here. Thank you guys. Got some great mods here. Thank you guys. Okay. Whew. 
We did our sun salutations, guys. Did it feel like you're raising the sun or just raising the heart rates? <laughs> okay. So there's a couple other things we can do from that down dog. Let's just do one more and then we will go into our relaxation for sure. So find yourself back in your child's pose. Ugh. Breathe in here. <sighs> Make your way up to your down dog. And then you're going to raise that foot again. Option here to hinge the hip. I should be doing the other foot <laughs> just to show you guys. Hinge the hips so you're actually opening up here. If it feels good to you. If you have wild thing or you have a flip dog in your practice, feel free to do it. If not, go back to your three-legged dog. Just feel. Maybe you're doing hip circles here. It's whatever feels good. Remember not to hurt your wrist here. Focus on keeping your weight in your fingertips and your hands. Lower those toes down. <sighs> okay. Now that foot that was raised, which I said was the right foot, <laughs> step it between your hands again. You might have this now. If not, find your way here. And then you're going to raise yourself up. So use your core. Be really strong. Lift yourself up here. So your legs are now in a stance. Front leg should be bent. Knee should not be past the toes. Back leg, keep your feet flat, but at a 45 degree angle, if that works for you, you can make your pose shorter, longer, wider, doesn't matter, but you're just getting in this warrior stance. This is gonna be warrior two, so your hands raise up. So look kind of like a star here with the bent knee. Maybe flip your hands up, shrug your shoulders, let them down. If you're seated, this is easy. You just widen your legs, move your hands. Now flip your palms facing down. Look over your forward middle finger. Breathing. You should feel stretching in the hips here. Suck in the tummy. Feel weight on all of the corners of your toes here. This is a very active pose too. Being the sun warrior. If it's in your practice, you can flip your front hand, lean backwards and go into your reverse warrior. Your hands can be on your thighs. Other hand is reaching up. Again, only what works for you. Your neck should be looking where it needs to look. Then inhale, bring it back to center. The other way you can do it is by leaning forward, planting your arm on that bent knee and doing a side angle here. It should look something like this, but again, this is mine. If your hand is here, that's good. If you can only go like this, that's fine. Find your side angle. Look where it's comfortable for you. Then inhale, back up. If you want, you can maybe tick-tock back and forth. This is called Dancing Warrior. You don't have to. Remember to keep a little bit of bend in the back knee as you're breathing here. As big or as small as you need. Then exhale, you're gonna go back to Warrior Two. look over those middle fingers. Then you're gonna pinwheel the back hand forward, kind of making like an alligator, a gummy. Then you're going to turn facing those front toes. All you do is plant your hands, step back. You can do a flow here, or you can just go back to child's pose. Good job, guys. I don't send you to the moon. Breathing here. We're going to do the other side. Inhale, lift those that foot up. <laughs> you have just one lifted, please. Maybe you bend that knee. Maybe you do a wild thing or a reverse your dog. Or maybe you just do circles with your knees couple breaths here. Keep those hips flat. You want to have a nice flat angle here. Come back to stillness. If your flip, come back over. Oh, one more breath here. It's really tough. Then step it through. Woof. And I'm actually going to turn around so you guys can see this. From here, inhaling up, Ooh, using that core, finding however you need to get to your warrior. Bent front knee, back knee, just a little bent. Front foot should be at an angle. <laughs> That's back foot, right? So this one's facing forward. This is at an angle. Knees bent. Good. Straighten up here. Arms out like a star. Flip the palms up. A couple shrugs here. All right. And flip the palms down. Inhale. Try that reverse on this side. I guarantee you this side will be different. How will it be different for you? 
and you look a certain way. You bend deeper or less. It's all good. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Exhaling, going forward, planting the arm on your knee, stretching up, finding where your hand wants to be, breathing where you want to breathe, looking where you want to look, but keep breathing. Good job. Inhale, pull yourself up past your core. Ooh. And then if you want, you can do a little bit of tipping and tacking, finding your dancer, finding movement. If your legs are burning, you're not alone. <laughs> Keep those knees bent. Focus on keeping weight on all of the corners of your toes and your heels, the sides of your feet. Breathing, breathing, breathing. One more, and then back to warrior two. All right. Whew. Look over those front fingers, breathe. Hold it for just another couple breaths. <sighs> Inhale that back arm up, make your gummy on this side. And then face forward, plant those hands. Come back down. Find your flow if you have a flow. Meeting back in your child's pose. Good job. <laughs> That's enough tough stuff. What do you think? <sighs> awesome. Everybody's doing awesome. Okay. So you should still be in your child's pose. We've done our sun salutations and our sun warriors. I think we're going to now go into our seat. So from child's pose, let's see what we can do. The best part of yoga is you can play with it. So we're down. So push your hips forward and go back into your tabletop. If you're seated, easy enough. From here, maybe you find a couple more cats and cows. Or maybe, 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 maybe you try to wiggle your hips forward. If you hadn't been finding your up dogs here, maybe you just try one little back bend, keeping your knees down, using your hands for weight. Focus on the shoulders and your breathing. Push it back. Good. From here, keep your feet behind you, lift up into our camel. So my hands are behind my back. Just roll the shoulders, shine the chest forward. One more time to feel the sun on your chest. Maybe look up if it works for you. If you have a bigger back band, feel free. Breathe in here. And then slowly lower yourself down, kicking your feet out in front of you. Whew, good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna do some twists. Um, if this works for you, there's three options, right? So if you have normal pigeon, half pigeon in your practice, feel free to go to that from down dog. One more down dog for you guys that have it in your practice. Let's do chair first. If you're in your chair, pigeon, figure four is where you take your legs, plant one foot down. Uh, if you're not doing this with a chair, folks, you can go into child's pose. It's all good. <laughs> Lift up if you can. Cross your legs over so your ankle is over your knee. Flex the foot. So it's nice and flat like this. And then you can plant one hand on the ankle and one on the knee. Sit up straight and just focus on opening that hip. If this doesn't work for you, you can just do that knee hug or maybe you try and open it again. Set your figure four to seated. You'll be doing it on both sides. For those of you that have pigeon, have fun. I won't demonstrate that. But for those of you down here, so you're gonna be swinging onto your back Laying down. I love demonstrating this. So you're laying down like this with your feet near your bum. And then you're going to lift that leg and cross it over again. So it looks like... Dun, 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 figure four. <laughs> and from here, you can actually grab your leg and pull it in. Doing whatever works for you. I kind of look like a ghost right now, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Breathing here. Couple more seconds here, really feel that nice stretch. Okay, then come back to your neutral, whether that's on your back if you're doing it laying down or seated if that works for you. Or if you're in your half pigeon, go back to down dog. Get ready to do it on the other side. Seated, easy, right? <laughs> laying down, let's do it. Planting those feet, 
lifting the other leg, flexing that foot, pulling it over. <sighs> Maybe this is enough for you. Maybe you pull it in. Again, Bob Ross, do what works for you. I like to give myself a little hug here to really feel it right in the back. Yeah. <sighs> and it may be different on this side. Breathe here and just notice. That's all it's about, just noticing. <sighs> and then we let it back down. If you're on your back, just lay here. Maybe you do what we call windshield wipers, where you widen your legs and then just let all the knees back and forth. I can't believe how shiny I am in this costume. Uh, all right, if you were in your normal half pigeon, find your way down and onto your back. If you're seated, again, you're just going to be moving your arms here. Oh, I'm so glad it feels good to stretch. You guys are doing wonderful. We're almost there. 15 more minutes. We're on our backs, which is the best part of yoga. <sighs> <sighs> right? So we're going to do a bridge pose here, which is another back bend. <laughs> I can't help laughing at how white I look on the screen. This was not a good choice, but I guess I am glowing. So now you're going to pull your knees in, keep your feet by your bum, plant your hands so your palms are down near your sides. I actually might move this a little bit for you guys because we are done standing. All right. And ooh, from here. Hands are planted, knees are down, and then you're just gonna lift your hips just a little. So you're gonna feel the way your hips rotate. As you inhale, lift up. Exhale, let it down. A couple times. Then come to stillness and feel how that feels. Feel where the back of your body is touching the mat. Feel how nice it is to not have to stand anymore. <sighs> Now we're going to do it deeper if that's in your practice. For those of you that are seated, again, just work on your back bends if that works for you. Inhale, lift up the hips, planting, really pressing with the feet, stepping into it. Push down with your shoulder blades too. Right here, all you should be focusing on is pushing down with the pieces that are touching, lifting the hips, maybe just a little, maybe more. And then exhale, let it down. This last one, if you have wheel in your practice, feel free. If not, just push in, lift up, really focus on bringing the tops of your thighs together. Roll. They don't have to be touching, but just rolling so your knees are not spreading out. Breathing here. You got this, guys. One more breath. And then exhale. Let it all go. <sighs> and because I got some of my fan club on here, now we're going to pull in those knees and do a nice little roll. Make sure I don't roll onto my microphone. Good job. <sighs> Again, if you're in a chair, just forward fold, or maybe you tuck those knees and try and do a little tailbone sitting balance on your chair. But please don't fall. And if you do fall, laugh it off. Okay. From here, we're going to take our feet, raise them up. Ooh, see if you can do that. And then draw your knees back in one more time. Lift them up. See if you can flatten them and lift them up. I am shaking, guys. And then inhale, draw them in. But this time, spread your knees apart. So you're making a diamond with your feet. And then just let it down. So you've got that diamond going on here. With your knees down as far as they can go. It's a big hip opener. If your knees are not down and you have blankets or pillows nearby, you can put those underneath the knees for support. Your hands here, why don't we try and lift them above your head if that works for you. You can do goal posts with the arms, or maybe just lift them up. Feel the shoulders as they flatten. I'm going to spend a couple moments here. So keep breathing in that diamond form. Really feeling the stretch as you finish up that diamond. Oh, good job. Almost there. One more pose after this, and it's going to be a good one. Okay. <sighs> I 
I could stay here for a while. I told you guys you're going to be sleeping by the end of this. <laughs> All right, draw those knees back up. Maybe you give another hug again. If you would like, you can do happy baby here, which is grabbing your toes. I'm doing that little wide gog -go stretch. Finding movement here if it works, or if not, just staying still. And then plant those legs. And now we're going to go down and put those feet out. For those of you in your chair, you're going to get another side stretch here. Just find yourself a nice comfy, comfy space. So you should be like just laying flat at this point, pretty much dead to the world. But we have one more pose on each side to do. So <laughs> because it is raised the sun yoga, we are going to do what they call banana asana, which is a literal yoga pose. It's the banana. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to raise our hands up above us. Then you're going to start to bring your feet together. And again, only if this works for you. But take your feet and walk them to one corner of the mat. So they're touching. See how I got this little twist in my legs? So your body is in the same place. You're just moving your legs. And maybe you cross that ankle over. So this is the half banana. It's like a peeled banana where your hands are the peel. But if you want to do the full banana, now you're going to take the hands over the same way. Trying to keep your chest the same, but just moving your arms into your banana sauna. Maybe you grab that hand. Maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> Find your banana sauna. Breathing into the side stretch. Big, 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 big side stretch. And for those of you in your chair, just raising your hands up, grabbing one wrist, and doing that side stretch here. Look at that gorgeous banana, guys. And your head can be looking in either direction or straight up, whatever works. Nice banana sauna. And slowly come back up. Find your center here. A couple breaths. Feeling how the release of the side stretch feels. And you know in yoga we have to do both sides. So now the banana on the other side walking those feet over. Maybe they don't go as far. Maybe you feel some tightness in your hips. That's fine. Raising your hands up if you don't want your peeled banana. Putting your arms together. Maybe grabbing that wrist and then twisting over the other side. Making your opposite banana. Mm, breathing. You just spent 50 minutes doing yoga. I hope you feel refreshed. We still have a little more cool down to go, so start to relax here. Breathing into it, feeling how your body feels. Is it asking for something more? If it is after you unpeel your banana, take any last stretches that you need. Maybe you do another ball. Or maybe you just kind of flop over and say, this is it, guys. I can't do it anymore. Right? <laughs> What's going to happen from here? This is called corpse pose. So your legs are wide, feet are out, hands are down. Um, shoulders are rolled back, but Find a relaxing position, maybe you modify where your tailbone is. Hands facing up to in, absorb the sun energy. Up is raising and reaching energy. If you need here, get a blanket, cuddle yourself up, go to your couch or your bed. I don't mind. It's what works for you. So find yourself a nice, cozy corpse pose. Oh, this is the best part, the nap time at the end. Awesome. It's good to hear that you guys are doing well. In corpse pose, I'm going to leave you here for a few minutes. So now that you've got your blankets and your pillows and you're nice and cozy, I'm going to guide you through a little bit of a, a relaxation. And then there's going to be some weird silence if you don't have any music playing. So maybe you put on some music or maybe you just appreciate that silence. So from here, as we're going along, Maybe you welcome your eyes to close. You'll be here for five minutes. Come back to your breathing like you did at the beginning. Where are you now? Is your breathing deeper? Is it cleaner? Is it heavier? Is it hotter? Where are you now? As we go deeper into the resting pose called Savasana, 
or corpse pose. If you notice thoughts coming through your mind, recognize the thoughts and then let them go. Just like a leaf floating in the stream, recognize the thoughts, but don't dwell on them. Let them continue through. This is a type of meditation, one in which you don't have to have an empty mind. You only need to have a relaxed mind, not judging yourself or your thoughts. Take a nice deep breath in here. Let it go. You're going to do one more. Maybe make it a nice loud one through your throat. Good. Welcome to final relaxation. With your eyes closed here, focus on that sun energy radiating down on you. Through the salutations, we help to raise the sun, at least in the Eastern Standard Time. Feel the sun shining on your forehead your face. Relax the space between your eyes and your cheeks. Maybe let your jaw go. Relax your jaw. Let the tongue come off the roof of the mouth if it's there. Get nice and relaxed. Breathe here through either your nose or your mouth. Whatever works. No judgment. You know the light shining on your throat and your chest that you raise to the sun. Maybe you take another deep breath here. Feel the energy as it radiates down your right arm, past the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, and your fingers. Each finger, a ray of light, and the thumb, and then draw it back up past the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder, and pass it across the chest again to the other arm, down past the shoulder, to the elbow, and the wrist radiating that sunlight, shining out the fingertips, each one, and the thumb. And then draw it back up past the elbow, the shoulder, and back to the chest. Breathing here. Again, letting those thoughts fly by. Just an idea on the breathes. Inhale here, and as you exhale, take that sun energy down your chest to your belly. Feel the warmth in your belly. If you want it, you can put a hand on your belly and your heart, or you can remain dead to the world. Feel the breathing and feel the heat of your body and of the sun, all that energy you drew in today. You can leave your hands here or just stay where you want. Draw an energy into your hips and pelvis and then down your right leg, feeling the energy radiate past your hips to your knee and your ankle, your feet. Through all five toes, shine that light. Allow yourself to relax deeper. And then draw back up the ankle, the knee, up the leg to the hip, and then across the pelvis to the other leg, allowing it to go down the hip and the knee to the ankle, shining out all five toes, feeling it here. This feet that held you up. Now draw it back up past the ankle, knee, hip, to your pelvis. Drawing the energy back up through the middle of your body. 
past your belly and your chest. Maybe one more breath here. And then draw the energy back into your head, past your jaw, nose, forehead. Shine it out the top of your head, the crown chakra, where there's energy, the regal, celestia, the sunlight. Allow it to shine. And now I'm going to give you two minutes of silence. I will call you out of it. Take your final relaxation here, remembering to just be, recognize any thoughts, and allow them to go. And I'll call you back in two minutes. Stay where you are, the last 30 seconds. I'll read you one final thought. Continuing the conversation we had at the beginning, co-lichen said of Celestia, many of us think twice before giving people who had wronged us a second chance, like Luna. Celestia did not have to think about it. She let go of the hurt she caused, though it did come back to haunt her. However, she took that step forward. Celestia and Luna both took a step forward to accept the past and put it behind them. Yoga is about mindfulness and letting go of the past. Live in the present. As I said at the beginning, be mindful of where you are. Don't dwell in the past. Acknowledge it, and then appreciate where you are. Look forward to the future. Know that it will get better. Take a deep breath here as we start to awaken back up. Maybe make a big stretch like you're waking up out of bed. Stretch those wrists, fingers, ankles, any last stretch that you need. <sighs> And as it's comfortable, roll to one side. This is the in-between. Between the end of the practice and where you go next, perhaps the closing ceremonies. Take one more quiet breath here to appreciate this. And then as you're ready, inhale and start to come back into your seat. Roll your shoulders back. Get one nice big breath here. And if you want, inhale, raise your hands up. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. I thank you for sharing this practice with me and for being a part of Ponies Online. Thank you all for being here for Raise the Sun Yoga. Inhale, raise your hands to your forehead and thank yourself for being here too. 
of all the places that you could be, you chose to be here. Thank you. And now in the words of the not the yogis, the teacher in me thanks the teacher in you. I bow to you in thanks and peace. Namaste. Thank you guys.